Welcome friends to the series of learning Google Cloud Platform. In the last lesson, we created a new VM instance and we tried to connect to that VM instance from Google Cloud Platform Web Console, from the SSH client like Putty and connected from the local CLI with the help of Google SDK. Now, we are going to learn from this video how to attach a disk into the running VM system. So, we are going to attach a new disk having size of 10 gigs, for example, and we will mount that disk into the file system in the running VM. So are you excited to have this experience? I'm sure you'll be delighted to have this learning. If you have not yet subscribed this channel, please do it now. This will help you to watch when the new videos will arrive. Also, please hit the notification button so that you can get notified too. So let's get started. Now, there are a couple of steps you can follow at the disk in the running virtual machine. First, you need to add the disk in the VM. And this you need to do from the GCP console. Once you have added the disk in the GCP, then you have to format the disk, create the file system, mount the disk, and you have to provide the right ownership and access to that file system. Now, all these four steps you need to do by logging into the VM instance. You cannot do it from the GCP console. You have to log into the VM instance and you have to format the disk, create the file system, mount the disk and provide the right ownership or the access to that file system. So let's get started. We can jump to the GCP web console and we are going to do this thing right now. So friends, Please note, this is the Google Cloud Web Console, and we are at the VM instance dashboard. We are at the compute engine. So we have created this my VM one virtual machine in the earlier lecture. And we are recommending you to go through those sessions if you have not yet watched. So in this in this particular video lecture, we will see how the disks can be added. So if we go to this disks section, you will find right now there is only one disk called my VM1, and that is a persistent disk and that is attached with my VM1. There is only one disk right now attached to this VM1. Now let's create a new disk and uh, attach that into the VM. So what we will do, we will go to this my VM1 instance and we will um, go to this disk section. So you can see there is no additional disk attached with it. So what we will do, we will edit this VM instance and we'll go to this storage section. Uh, we you can see that 10 GB standard persistent disk that is already named as my VM1 that is already attached to it. And the deletion rule is delete it, delete this. Once the VM will be deleted, the boot disk will be deleted too. So now we are going to add a new disk and we can uh, name it as disk one, and this should be a blank disk. And we can maybe we can keep ten gigs inside, 
and we are going to add this disk as read write and maybe we can say delete this when the instance is deleted and we can click on save so once you save that the original disk is not going to be created unless until we are going to hit the save button so once we have click the save button the disk is being created and then the same the disk will be attached to this PDF. So at the same time while it is going to be done what we will do we will activate the cloud shell and we are going to connect to that VM through that cloud shell maybe we can open it a new uh, window. So first we are going to set our project as light result 405404 so that is our project id so uh, once we have done that then we can see what is the list of um vm right now we do have so the command is g cloud compute instance list once you get the list you can see that we do have only one um vm we are having right now so if we are going to connect to that vm so we have to say g cloud compute page and then vm name and then minus minus zone the zone is your central one a so now we have connected to our VM. Now let's go over here and let's see how many bits are showing right now. So it should be two because we already had the boot disk and right now we have created one additional disk of size 10 and we have attached that particular disk into the VM. So disk one is the new VM that we have attached to my VM one. And we already had the VM my VM one. So that's excellent. So let's go to this uh, VM instance, and um, we will see how the disk is being shown over here. So the command is lsdlk. So now see this particular ten gigs of disk uh, is going. Uh, it's it's being shown over there, but unfortunately, if you type df minus h, you cannot find any file system with the size of 10 bits over there. So now let's go go to Google and just search for this thing, add new disk in Debian VM because we are running the Debian system in GCP. So if you if you go there, you can find uh, this particular link. Where it is saying that what needs to be done uh, to attach the disk. It's a very easy and simple thing. So, our case is DB. So, I'm just going to grab this uh, formatting command. So, right now uh, it is making a file system of the type of ext4. Now, if you want to have a different uh, file system type, maybe you can provide that system type. But for now, I'm okay with the ext4 format. Okay, so if you go ahead and paste this um, for you, uh, it is saying that uh, it is uh, successfully um, created these files, uh, this this um, disk uh, in ext4 format. So it already um, did that now the next thing we need to create a directory uh so maybe i'm okay with this directory name mnt disk ufs so let's cre create this new file system over there once you have created this thing now you have formatted the file system you have to you have to format it the disk and then you have you have created the file system now, now the next thing you need to do is you need to mount that particular disk 
or mount that formatted a disk ext4 formatted disk into this file system so how we can do that we can simply say mount and uh, the file system name and this is the sdb uh, is our new uh, disk so that exactly you need to uh, do you need to mount that disk in the file system the newly created file system so once you do that if you if you say df minus h you can see this new file system is created and if you go there uh, you can see it's completely empty and maybe we can uh, create a new file and maybe we can say new fs in new disk and maybe we can redirect the file called new fs.txt so uh if i open it's, it's the same formation tonight it's it's very natural because uh it is created by root so what you need to do you actually change the ownership that i say that you cannot uh create any files unless until you are having the right permission the right new files so otherwise it will be owned by root so what we are going to do right now we are going to change the ownership to learning light in cloud this is the user this is the user and maybe i can change the permission the entire permission of class mnd and i cannot do that because i don't own this um file system the file system is owned by the root so i will i will say sugar okay so once you will do that you can run the same command um to make the new file or new fs and bang on you are done so you can say uh new fs has been created in the new disk that is attached to that particular vm now if i go and take the new fs you can see uh the things are written whatever we have typed earlier so this is how we can attach the new disk uh in the file system uh and and the and the compute in itself so you can see if you go ahead and check this vm instance you can see the particular disk is there attached with this particular vm so this is the boot disk and you are having additional disk in this lot Thank you friends for watching this video. We from the Learning Light team congratulate you to complete this learning. We have learned how to add a disk in a running VM in GCP. In the next lecture we will learn how to create custom image of a VM, how to create disk snapshots and what are the basic difference between these backup solutions. Wish you all the best and good luck. Before leaving here Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. We worked a lot to present you with such a thing. So, please encourage us by putting your comments in the comment section. If you have any doubt, please leave your concerns and we will reply with our best efforts. Have a nice day and see you in the next lecture.